Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 2344-59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that? No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> After all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? This won't take long. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Who's this? Herta? Yeah. <laughs> she looks so young. She was already famous in the last Amber era, no? She has to be at least a hundred years old. She's a member of the Genius Society and an emanator of Noose the Erudition. She can probably age backwards if she wanted. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for a dozen days or so? What was their name? Um... <laughs> That's pretty normal. Aren't the immortal bosses in games always waiting for the protagonist to come kill them? <laughs> Immortality is not always a good thing. <laughs> oh, what an alliance joke. When did the Antimatter Legion become so weak? I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? Oh, this lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. May as well kill them all. People's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silver Wolf? Some random coordinates. Not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours, as usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. And so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is.
central area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. May as well kill them all. Something is up ahead. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Just like that. Sensation. Remember it. Time for a buzz. <laughs> this won't take long. single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into Herta. It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? A 
Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. See the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. What's this? Item number 211, Line Spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said it must be you who makes it.
standing around, having second thoughts. Yeah, we've always been the ones taking Stellarons. It's the first time we're giving one out. You're gonna think for this long? <laughs> Didn't make up your mind when you got out of bed this morning? Don't hurry me, Silver Wolf. This is a big decision. I'll pick for you. This one. Yeah, this one. Uh, Silverwolf, did you forget that I must be the one to make this decision? Want to give him a new name? remember me. Maybe you're not as important as you think. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time, but eventually we will make a gorgeous pattern. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, Make one that you know you won't regret. Huh. 
Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. remember your name. Sure, you can at least remember your name. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. Petite cutie with pink hair? Madame Herda appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Goons owned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Back to the Master Control Zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express! Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta, so we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happen to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <clears throat> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. Yeah, you've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. You and 
March go back together. Our land from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, all right. You stay safe. Hmm. Maybe you should take this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me.
full of fancy little gadgets. Herta's collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. Enough dilly-dallying, we gotta go! Uh, it's the Antimatter Legion! So these crazy jerks... Let's make it quick. Better up! You're stronger than you look. Seem to be quite the fighter.
So we'll take that elevator on the central platform to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go! I'll take you to the safe zone! to me. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Ah, uh, I 
I knew it. But it wasn't me. The Antimatter Legion must have broken it. <sighs> Too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Uh, I don't know that one. Whoa! <sighs> Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. You found him? Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. Then let's go talk to him. Clemency? Never heard of it. I told you I could fight. Watch this! Let's go. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. My turn. Let's make it quick. Better up. Clemency? Never heard of it. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. You have the worst luck running in. You could. 
couldn't have done it without me. Hey, you're all together? Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Oh, did Madam Herta send you to help? It's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but... I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now, our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Oh, right. She did give me some sort of card. <clears throat> March. But where did I put it? You... Now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. Because I mustn't give the Legion any chance to reach the Master Control Zone by the elevator. I must ensure the safety of the station staff. So I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Apologies. Uh-huh. You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the Master Control Zone. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the Master Control Zone, right? Agreed. He and I made it here safely, and now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let us worry about the Antimatter Legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Aren't you a nice kid? Thank you.
too late to repent. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. You have the worst luck running into me. You couldn't have done it without me. Oh, shiny. Ooh, sparkly. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. With me out here, how can we lose? Make it quick. Huh. <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. The repulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes, to stall the enemy, more or less. Clemency? Never heard of it. I told you I could fight. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's go. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! You have the worst luck running into me! Watch this! Let's make it quick.
couldn't have done it without me. stuff like this no light cones are garden of recollection technology they allow you to carry memories around very potent enhancement items I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights but I have no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one they were acquired legitimately that's all I can say take them they're very useful in combat Already? That wasn't too many monsters. Ugh, probably shouldn't have said that. Might bring bad luck. <sighs> You've grown, March.
This will strengthen our position. Never heard of it. You can't run. Annoying. My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. to me. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Uh, rules are made to be broken! to repent. This sanctuary is but a vision! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Step aside. I have no injured times now. Let's make it quick. What about this? <sighs> hey, sore losers! You can't just gang up on us! Why does it always have to get this exciting? Anyway, at least you're back. March, Dunhung, you've been through a lot. 
Oh, phew. Himeko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herda would not like that. <sighs> Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Uh, bye. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. charm, and I didn't cause any trouble. You just have to get used to me. Look, Don Hung agrees, right? I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on, Asta's been worried about all of you. attacking the space station this time, and some of them aren't even on the station's records! You're so annoying! Stop saying that! <laughs> hey, how old are you? Don't be a baby! Please stop crying. How about I pretend to be a monster for you, huh? tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. 
The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herta? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herta and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. Oh, that would be of great help.